All right, guys, let's get things rolling. So, SearchScraper.io. Um, SearchScraper was built as a Google scraper. Um, so, all of the Google products, maps, search, news, and images. Uh, it's meant to be very, very simple and straightforward. It's just turn on, write in the keyword, press, and then get results. Basically, very, very easy to use. Um, so right now I'm I'm just logged in and you know this is the base website, surfscraper.io. Um, I'm actually logged in on the top right. You'll see my picture and you can see sort of you know uh, my accounts and so on. And I'll show you why that's relevant in a moment. Um, but how this operates and how it works is very easy. So I'm going to start with maps. So if I want to uh, scrape Google Maps, all I do is I type in my keyword. Um, let's go for um, I don't know real estate agency in, um, I don't know, let's do Chicago, for example, right? Uh, I'm going to click on the show advanced settings just so you can see it, but you don't have to, you can just click on search and go. But the advanced settings, pretty straightforward device. So desktop, Windows, that's, you know, how many results do I want? I'm just going to do the first 100, but you can do runs of up to 700 per run. Um, and then obviously the country. If you want to be very detailed, you can also search by coordinates and kind of plug in latitude and longitude. But I'm just going to do search by country because I wrote in Chicago and that should narrow down the search automatically. And all I'm going to do is click search. It's running. And um, this, this usually takes about 8, eight 10, 12 seconds. So it's pretty fast. Um, and it's just searching for real estate agency in Chicago as a keyword. And it's just downloading the results into an Excel sheet. Bam, there you go. That's the preview. Uh, and then all I do here is just download CSV, download the CSV. I'm going to click on the CSV. Yep. And there it is. Real estate agency in Chicago. I'm going to scroll down. So it's the first hundred results all the way to 100. Uh, that's the agency's domain. That's their title. So the company name, Realtor in Chicago, Ryan Hardy, Carrie McCormick, uh, the Armando uh, Chicon group, and so on. Uh, next one over is going to be their address. So that's their address. This is going to be the URL. So their websites, uh, snippet, the ID, phone number, which is crucial for lead gen. So a bunch of phone numbers here from Chicago. Um, picture. So if they have an image in Google Maps, this will be their picture. Uh, their category, real estate agency, real estate consultant, for example, down here. Uh, this is the Google Maps category. Feature ID, CID, latitude and longitude, so the, the actual place on their map, specific location on the map. Um, so it's very easy. Click and you get all of this data by just doing one, you know, plugging in a keyword and clicking go. Um, I did 100. You can do 200, 300, 400, you know, up to 700 if you want. And basically, this is the kind of output you're going to get, Okay. Um, same goes for the other ones. I'm going to move into Google search now. Um, so for Google search, let's do, um, I don't know, fintech company. Um, you know what? Let's just do like, um, job listing, job listings. Okay. And again, I'm going to do one to hundred easy peasy. Click on search. And again, within seconds, we're going to get a giant database of um, Google Maps results. There it is. I'm going to download the CSV and I'm going to show you what the CSV looks like in a moment. All right. So job listings, organic, URL, so zip recruiter, understandably, LinkedIn jobs, snag jobs, monster, those pop up very you know fast, understandable. Um, that's the URL. I'm going to go right here. Uh, the group, the absolute, their domain, the title. So this is sort of, you know, how they, when you do a Google search, they have like a little title underneath and that's going to be the title, the URL, the breadcrumb and their description. Uh, Phil, your career advisor will help you find the right job, blah, blah, blah. Right. And so on. So all the way down and I'm just going to go all the way down here. So we can see that it was a hundred results. Bam. Good to go. Easy peasy. So that's Google search. I'm going to go on into uh, images. Um, let's just do something cool. Let's just do like a lemon. So I want pictures of lemons. <laughs> uh, again, one to a hundred. I'm going to click on search. 
results are in, download CSV, open the CSV. So this is what the Google uh, images is going to look like as output. Okay, uh, it's in the, lemon is the keyword. It's an image search. It's the group. It has the title, uh, the subtitle, and in which case this in this case it's usually the the domain, um, the alt, um, the URL, the actual URL where that picture is held, and then this encoded URL should be the photo. There it is. So if I just like click on that's a lemon photo, and I'm going to go back here and click on like the second one. That's that photo. And I'm going to click on the third one. That's that photo, and so on. Okay, so it's basically it's just downloaded all of those images, uh, and then you have access to it. Uh, and again, I put a hundred as, as the max I wanted on this one. So if I scroll down, there should be a hundred, and there is. There you go, all the way to one hundred. Um, let's just. I'm curious what the one hundredth picture is. Still lemons, <laughs> so uh, it's working. It's it's properly operating. So good to go there. Last but not least, news. So Google News. Uh, in this case, you do have an option of news search or top stories. So like um, I, I I I new top stories will only give you like the first three or four. Um, news is a more general search. So like let's just do news search, and I'm gonna do like I don't know Bill Gates search. So this one I did again up to a hundred, but in all likelihood, unless it's like a buzz news story right now in the media cycle, you're probably not going to get a hundred results um, unless it's very relevant and very current. Um, so let's see how much Bill Gates is popping up in the news. Yeah, a lot. He's famous. Um, so that's the first hundred results. News search. Uh, that's going to be the domain, Business Insider, uh, GB News, TechCrunch, and so on. Uh, that's the title. That's going to be the URL to that specific article. Um, that's going to be when it's published. So, you know, how many hours ago within the next three days, five days, seven days, and so on. That's the timestamp. So a specific timestamp on when that uh, article was uploaded. Uh, and again, so you get access to it. Like I can just click on this Business Insider one and that should take me to Bill Gates thinks you should read this book to get smarter on how AI will transform education. There you go. And it was published May 20th, so three days ago. Um, and it's good to go. So this is sort of the gist of it, of the tool itself. Uh, it's not the most complicated tool. We built it to be as simple as possible. Um, last but not least, the only thing you need to know is all of this search stuff, my search history, if you will. If I go to my account here, um, so that's my account, you know, my plan and so on. And then on the bottom here, you'll have your entire history. So we just searched Bill Gates, Lemon, Job Listings and Real Estate in Chicago, Map Search Images News. Um, I also searched like Exact, Elon Musk, Butterfly, Real Estate Agency, General Practitioner, Atlanta, FinTech in Boston. So these are the older ones. Uh, and all of those CSVs will always be here. So you can kind of come back and click on the CSV and download it if you already missed it. Um, so you'll kind of always have access to it if you, you know, somehow gets deleted or you lose that data set or something like that. Um, but that's it more or less, uh, quite straightforward. I mean, last but not least, uh, the key thing is uh, for the next 15 hours, we have a promo running and it's ending in 15 hours, just a heads up. Uh, that promo is going to give you 50% off uh, your plan. Um, so definitely go buy it now. I'll show you right in a moment. Ooh, typed it wrong. There it is. Yeah, so it's going to give you 50%. So not 15 hours, 13 hours and 48 minutes left <laughs> on that promo. It'll give you 50% off. So definitely, you know, jump in and grab it. Um, so you're basically paying 10 bucks for the starter and 24.50 for the pro instead of 20 and 49. Um, the awesome thing is that there's a 30 day, no questions asked refund policy. So within 30 days, if you don't like what you see or you're not using it or you don't want it, you just, you know, drop us an email saying, listen, I don't want this anymore. And we cancel your subscription and we pay, you know, we refund all of your money. So it's a no brainer. Uh, definitely take advantage of that 50% within the next 13 and a half hours. So buy it now. And then if you don't want it within a month, you, again, you can always pop back and say, listen, I don't want this. Uh, just refund me and then we'll refund you the money. But at least you'll lock in that 50% now instead of, you know, thinking about it for a couple of days and then you have to come back and you're going to pay double the price. Um, so definitely lock that in as soon as you can. So that's sort of the, the gist of it. Uh, if there's any questions, okay, chat's popping here. Um, cool tool question, will this work on Google events? Um, the events are in the regular search. 
So you would just do search here, not maps, not images, and not um, um, news. Um, you just, if you use the, the normal search, uh, it will pop up with the events as well. Um, you're getting an error cannot convert on for a null object with the new search. Yeah, so uh, Dennis, what that means is when I go to new search here, here, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, if I go to new search here and I keep it on top stories and I type in like my own name, right? That's what you're getting. What that means is that in the top stories, there is no Armin Avakian. It, the results were null, which means you're getting zero results. Uh, so try shifting from top stories to new search, and you should get a broader set of results, okay? Awesome. It worked with the new search. Yeah, exactly. There you go. We're on the same page. Uh, what does the JSON output do, Tina? So the JSON output, um, it, it's, it's just a different file format. Uh, what JSON basically means is if you want to connect it somehow to your backend, it's a technical thing. Um, so it's more like a um, like an API output, if you will, and not like an Excel sheet output. So if you have like a, a broader backend and you just want to kind of upload that data set into your backend directly and then you know do whatever you need to do with it, uh, then you would go with JSON. Um, if you just want the Excel output and then you kind of want to you know see it and use it in that way, you would just go with CSV. Um, so uh, JSON is something that's very, very technical. I'm not really a technical person myself, uh, but it's sort of for that purposes. Occasion Genius, can you do a quick demo of the events? Would be interesting to know what the columns are that it parses out, aka event name, full name, address, one link or multiple links. Um, Occasion Genius, can you give me a, uh, just give me like a keyword, copy paste the keyword and I'll plug it in and search it for you right now so we can see the results, okay? Uh, Dennis, is the source for the Google map based on the GMB profile? Yes. Um, so basically what it is, like if you just go to maps, um, I'm just going to like Boston. Man, my internet's slow. All right. So if I type like on a fintech company here, All right, so you see how these like all obviously these little red dots, and here like there's a forward financing numerated and so on. And if I click on forward financing, it'll open up like this. Man, my internet's slow. There we go. So it opens up this here, and this is where it's taking that data from. So that would be the address, that would be the phone number, that would be the domain, right, and so on and so forth. So whatever is here basically is also there, which is also part of the GMB profile. So they're all kind of interconnected. Um, occasion genius events in Chicago, Illinois in June. Okay. Let's search and see what we got. Search keyword search. All right. So I'm going to download the CSV. I messed something up, sorry. My computer is acting up for some reason. Let's just close all of this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's bringing it like this. Okay. Um, let me double check this and get back to you, okay? Uh, Occasion Genius, I'll, uh, I'll drop you an email. Um, I don't know why it's popping up like this. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, chat. Um, is 700 results the limit indefinitely or will it be possible to increase this? So, uh, Josh, the, the 700 um, result limit is a Google limit. So it's how they give out their data set. So it's not really up to us. Um, if and when Google decides to you know up that max number, uh, we will obviously follow suit. Uh, but it's a question I can't answer because it's not up to me. It's it's kind of coded on their end and not our end. Okay. Um, 
All right. I see Josh. Thank you. Yeah, Nate, I'll definitely drop you an email um, with some results for this, okay? And I'll show you like some, uh, I'll send you over some stuff. Then it's perfect. That is great for lead sourcing and JSON importing into your CRM. Exactly, exactly. So a lot of people use this for lead gen. Um, a lot of people use this for things like um, real estate listings, job portals, you know, anything that that's just basically on Google uh, that you can kind of bulk search and bulk get. Uh, this is a great tool to do that. All right, if there's no other questions, guys, just one quick reminder again, next 13 and a half hours, you got 15% off, so half the price. Again, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so buy it now, lock in that you know 50% off now, um, and then you know decide whether you want to use it or not and try to use it and see how it works. Uh, but if you don't lock it in in the next 13 and a half hours, the price is basically going to double after that, so um, make sure you take advantage of that opportunity. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining. I appreciate your time, and uh, I'll see you next time in the next webinar. All right? Bye, guys.